What is it? This is the DS7 Crossback, the almost inevitable assault by DS automobiles on the compact SUV hierarchy. You might have seen its global dynamic debut in the news, because it was via a bespoke DS7 Crossback that French President Emmanuel Macron made his way to the Champs-Élysées during his inauguration. We too have experienced this car before, but not on UK soil. As a product of the luxury arm of PSA Group, comprising Peugeot and Citroën, along with DS itself, it's aimed more squarely at the likes of the Range Rover Avoc, Jaguar E-Pace and Audi Q3, rather than your Nissan Qashqais, Sitkas, and Renault Kajars. To help the seven crossbacks cause, DS has shoehorned in so many features that it's difficult to know where to start. Alongside semi-autonomous driving programs, night vision and aesthetic elements intended to capture French savoir faire both inside and out, the 7 Crossback is also the first among its peers to use active suspension. The broad idea is that you'll be tempted away from more established rivals by the car's fresh take on combining old-school luxury with the latest technology. Alas, for all the Brigitte-inspired detailing and swivel-eyed LED headlights, this is a familiar product that's built on the same modular platform as the Peugeot 3008 and offers front-wheel drive with a choice of PSA's existing turbocharged diesel and petrol engines. Furthermore, the assertion that the 7 Crossback possesses a unique personality lasts only as long as it takes to realize its general proportions, and particularly its dead pen front end styling, closely mimic the Audi mentioned earlier. Is it handsome? In a square-jawed fashion, perhaps, but it relies heavily on jewelry in the form of three-dimensional LED lights and plenty of chrome, or gloss black if you go for mid-ranking performance line trim. In terms of hardware, a 9th or state speed automatic gearbox is your only choice if you want the 222bhp 1.6-liter turbocharged petrol engine or the 178bhp 2.0-liter Blue diesel. There's also a 6-speed manual available for the 128bhp 1.5-liter diesel, and, during 2019, a 300bhp plug-in hybrid with 4-wheel drive and an asking price of around £50,000 will arrive. What's it like? Given this is a car bearing a DS badge, we should first address ride quality, which is in general very good. Lateral body movements are nicely controlled and a sense of stability and competency pervades, but at the expense of agility, an attribute hardly helped by the oddly heavy steering. Active suspension comes as standard, apart from the entry-level elegance model, and isn't as radical as the hydromatic technology not quite pioneered by the original DS of 1955. But it does work, superbly at times. It's a predictive setup with a road scanning camera. Its lens is tucked behind the rear view mirror and, along with various sensors and accelerometers, it feeds the ECU with data, allowing it to prepare the adaptive dampers for troublesome topography with as little as 5 meters warning. Operational only in comfort mode, it has a tendency to make the 7 crossback feel underdamped on undulating roads but most of the time removes passengers from the road really rather neatly both acoustically and physically. It's certainly an option worth having. The other prong of the DS attack is the luxury of its interior, which can be trimmed in either Alcantara or Napa leather depending on spec level and boasts a high, wide transmission tunnel and a deep curvature linking the doors to the bulkhead. A 12.3-in touchscreen is standard on all but the lowest trim level and there are oversized toggle switches flanking the gear lever. It's an interior that exhibits some lovely touches, pearl stitching, gillocage engraving, but it can feel overwrought, in some ways, the cleaner architecture of a generously specified Peugeot 3008 is more authentic. There are also some suspect plastics that you'd have to search harder to find in most rivals. Given the way the 7 Crossback costs its it occupants, you might think that it's short on space. In fact, the opposite is true. There is unusually generous space for those on the rear bench and 555 liters of load capacity with all the seats up, 